Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Dawn Walters. I want to give a shout out to Exa Technologies for reaching out to me and sending me this super cute little bitty P8 mini projector. Look how little, it's teeny tiny, it's super light. I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I've had a blast using this, whether it's been camping or coaching, and then I'm gonna show you some other things that I really like. Um, so enjoy. It's hard to know what's going on inside the mind of a cat. Come here. Come here. Companions. Yeah, Slade's not very happy that, that this is what we're watching. <laughs> Are you, buddy? So I have my AXA. That just kind of shows you the quality in here. In the back of my truck. Here we are. Slate sleeping through the movie. If the girls need to watch any videos or whatever, we'll be able to pull them right in here and show them here as opposed to on an iPad. Okay, good. Much better. Dump time too soon. So this is the top of the projector. It has your exit and back, has your menu, your okay, has the volume controls, and it has arrows to go front or back or to guide wherever you're going. Here's the front. Guys, this thing is so bright. You can see it even if it's not completely dark. Um, the size, it's super small. It's three by four by three by nine by 1.4 inches. Okay, so it is super tiny. This is it sitting in my hand. So this is one of the sides. You have your on and off button. You have your headphone out, which I use this to connect a speaker. You have your digital AV, which is also the HDMI compatible cord. And you have the DC 12 volt power, and that's for your little plug, which is included. And so that you know, you do need to use the 12 volt um, DC power cord because this does not have an internal uh, type of a battery. If you use it outside or for camping or just being out and about, then you'll need to use an actual power bank. This is the other side. This has your focus adjustment wheel. This is your TF card, which is basically the micro SD card slot. This little thing just turns on when you have it on. This is the USB-C for mirroring. And this is just your standard USB 2.0 spot. Now this is the bottom. It has a little rubberized feet on there and then this little thing is for the screw for your actual tripod which is included and you just put that on and that's what it can sit on. This is the remote that can be used with projector and it's included in the box. This is it actually turning on. Then it comes here to the main menu so you have your streaming services, you have your files, you have your input, mirroring, and that's just showing whatever is exactly on your phone, whatever you have hooked up, that's what it's showing. It shows for where you do the Wi-Fi setup. You can also do Office from here. It'll pull those things up. You have the browser, and that's when you're hooked up to your internet, apps, and settings. Here's a cute little remote, but all I'm doing is pressing this to make it move over to whatever you want it to do, to whatever you have it set up. Once everything is all set up and connected, we've got it right here. And I was able to use this 
little button right here is where the focus is. So you can see that. And there we go. We have an imperfect focus. And so what we're gonna do is go right here with the input because I've already connected this to my mini iPad, but I also have this dongle, which is the one you can use for your cell phone because it just has to go into the HDMI cord, which here's the HDMI cord back here. So we've got that. We're gonna go to my page. There we go, right there. Press it at the machine and I'm just doing the one little arrow and it goes right over to input. And since I've already done the input, I'm gonna go to okay. And now you see that it has the digital video cord or the USB-C. I have mine connected right now to the HDMI, which is the digital video cord. I just pressed okay right there in the middle. And there's my page. Okay, and you guys need to all make sure that you go and watch some of my other videos on here, but this is my page. And so now I'm gonna do is just go back to my little iPad, since now it's, it's all hooked up. So whatever I'm doing over here is gonna show up on the projector screen. And um, I need you guys, when you come on, to go to this one, Truck Kept Camping. Let's go ahead and get that up past it's at 159,000 views. Let's get that up to 160, 160,000. So, all you have to do when you're using your phone is, of course, the little dongle connector that goes to that. Take your HDMI cord and you just plug it in. And all of a sudden, it's up on the screen. You can hear where it's coming out of the little speakers here, but all I do is I'm just taking a little speaker and there is a plug back here in the back, right there. And then I'm going to turn my power on. Anything. So, and it sits pretty high so I can put things up under it. But the biggest thing was to try to find one so of where the, the wheel this, will, like, in front of a if cloud, you have three bars or anything else. Me. So I've got my setup over here. You can see that the quality is still really good. Even with all of these lights on, quality is still good. And now when the lights go down, look how good. Y'all, look how good and clear that is. And it's not even totally dark in here. Oh, let me get out of your way. So I do like this part. Um, we start right here on the streaming services. And I'm just hitting OK. Go down to Netflix. Click on. That, when it was coming up, I just clicked on the OK. Like a couple of times. And then it would just eventually go off. Um, let's see what this is about. So I just clicked it. What's great about this is on the streaming is because, of course, there's nothing else. I don't have a phone. I don't have anything else hooked up. And I know that's a little loud. I'll turn that down a little bit right there. Um, so, yeah. So, all I have it is is just hooked into the power source. And then I have this cord that's the speaker that's just going for that. I really like that you could use the SD card from your GoPro or anything else if you put files and stuff on it. But I like the fact that I can take a video or picture with my GoPro and instantly take it out, stick it in the side of the projector, turn it on, click on the files, go find the file and play it and it's all ready to go. 
So I'm gonna show you real quick how you can do that. All right, so GoPro and Slade. Good boy, good boy. That's my Slade, that's my good boy. So here we go. What I do is take out the SD card. This is just my GoPro. Click it out, pull it out. And now I'm just gonna put it in and stick it right there. And then once I go and I hook it up and turn it on, we're gonna see what happens. All I'm doing is see right here on this, clicking the arrow, go into files, clicking okay. Going down to SD card, clicking OK. Going down to oh, DCIM. Go to GoPro, click OK. Down here, and I am pretty sure this is the file. Yep, of Slave. And I click that on. Oh, you gotta get the ball. Okay, and the so ball. now okay, I've just got this go. of where I'm throwing it up slate. Okay. And go. oh <laughs> I know he thinks okay. I've got the ball again. You gotta watch out, buddy. I'm videoing. I know that's you up on the TV. Come here. Look at yourself on the TV screen. Look at that. Oh what you got, buddy? <laughs> He's trying to get the ball. Oh my gosh, this is the funniest thing ever. Yeah, I know, buddy. What do you think about that? It's you with the ball. Look at that. Overall, I had a blast with this little thing. And I will continue to use it um, because it is so handy, so little, so portable. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found a few different ways that you can use this little product. Um, if you want to order this, I'll make sure that I put an actual link in my bio. Have a good one. See you next time.